the significance of this new legislation. In a milestone for medical science, Britain has become the first country in the world to allow what has been termed three parent babies. a heated 90-minute debate with passionate arguments made by both sides. This is the bold step for Parliament to make, but it is a considered and an informed step, if that is the step we take. We have world-leading science set in a well-respected regulatory regime, and for many families affected, this is indeed that light at the end of a dark tunnel. Mitochondrial DNA is passed on through the mother. And it is this DNA that supplies the energy inside cells. But if there are harmful mutations in the mother's mitochondrial DNA, this can cause hereditary diseases affecting major organs and can cause symptoms ranging from poor vision to diabetes and muscle wasting. Under the new law, as well as receiving normal nuclear DNA from its mother and father, the embryo will also now be able to include a small amount of healthy mitochondrial DNA from a female donor. And experts believe that the use of mitochondrial DNA from a second woman could potentially help around 2,500 women in Britain at risk of passing on harmful DNA mutations. But the new procedure, which still needs to be approved by the House of Lords, has divided campaigners and religious leaders. IVF pioneer Lord Robert Winston believes the procedure is no more sinister than a blood transfusion. When somebody's anemic, you may replace their red cells because they can't function properly. Essentially, with mitochondrial transfer, you're replacing mitochondria from a healthy person in the same way. It's a transfusion, effectively, which will then allow them to use energy wisely. But the only difference, of course, is that this is then passed on to the next generation. But there has been opposition to this procedure. Dr. David King, director of the watchdog group Human Genetics Alert, said, Advocates say we shouldn't worry about slippery slopes, yet in my experience, they are the very same people who a few years later push us to take the next step and the one after that. If we want to avoid the nightmare designer baby future, we must draw the line here. Religious groups have also expressed concern at the new law. The Catholic Church opposes the standard IVF procedure on ethical and religious grounds because the procedure separates the process of procreation from marriage. And worse, in the Church's eyes, is that many IVF techniques involve the creation of embryos which are then discarded. For Sunni Muslims who generally permit IVF, there is opposition to third-party elements in the procedure. While Shia followers are told that the new procedure may be permitted. Animal studies have shown that three parent technology is safe. And for parents who have had children with now possibly preventable diseases, this news will of course offer them hope. But until the first babies are born, we'll never know for certain what the full risks are involved. And until that time, debates will continue to rage on about the ethical and existential implications of this new technology. Sarah Say. The reports. Joining us to discuss this is Saeed Amir, a clinical associate professor at the University of Nottingham and the chair of East Midlands British Islamic Medical Association. Welcome to the programme, Professor Amir. Um, now, this has gone through some clinical trials. It, it seems to have not caused problems um, in trials on animals. Is there likely to be difficulties when it comes to humans? I think the, um, uh, the initial uh, investigations are quite promising uh, and the techniques seem to be quite well established in the center uh, which, uh, which has started the, the, this research. And um, I think scientifically speaking and um, uh, with the um, historical achievements in IVF and development in technology, I think it's a very promising uh, technology although it, it, it still needs to be um, uh, well investigated through uh, um, well-designed trials. 
Um, so this is what uh, this is as it's at, uh, as, as it stands uh, now, uh, scientifically. And um, and some of the reservations that uh, some MPs, I mean, they're actually on a free vote, it went through with a very big majority in the in in the Commons yesterday. But but some MPs were expressing um, discontent and 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 expressing reservations. Do, do you understand what those are? I think this is to be expected with any new uh, uh, um, scientific development, especially when it comes to reproduction, uh, with all the um, uh, sensitivity about, uh, around the ethical and moral issues, also uh, about the, um, the uh, possible safety concerns, because we are dealing with something that we don't know the long-term consequences of. Um, and, and therefore, it is expected to, to cause some, to raise some concerns. Um, ethically, the, uh, the main concern is um, uh, uh, two issues, really. One is uh, the, fa the very fact that some genetic material will be passed down uh, through the generations from a third person uh, mixing lineages. Uh, that's, a, that's a concern. We can, we can look into this. Um, um, <clears throat> and the, the other concern is uh, uh, that uh, that, uh, that genetic makeup of the baby is affected by the third person and whether this is this carries any any um, um, health consequences the third concern is we professor let me just just let me stop just, professor let me just let me stop you there because that's a very important point isn't it that uh, I mean, it, sa it sounds to many people certainly um, good if um, the introduction of a third person's DNA can stop uh, disability and mutation. Uh, but what you're saying really is that we can't be sure um, what the introduction of a third person's DNA might be um, in other areas and over a longer term. Is that correct? Yeah, that's obviously not, has not been addressed. I'm, I'm just mentioning the concerns. Being yes considered by the critics of this uh, this technique. Uh, uh, my my view on this is the 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 um, trans the the, the um, uh, transferred genetic material, which is only purely in the mitochondria, which is the small little organelles outside the nucleus, does not actually form a part of the genetic makeup of that baby. So in essence, the genetic makeup that determines. Uh, the features of the uh, of the offspring um, has nothing to do with this um, extra, uh, very minute amount of genetic material that comes into the cell from the other mother. So I think, in terms of uh, genetic mix-up and and lineage change, uh, it shouldn't have an effect. So some uh, of the, so the, some of the some of the more kind of. Um headline grabbing objections that it might lead to designer babies uh, in your view that that is a, a, a kind of baseless criticism of course I, I disagree with this because obviously if it if it is applied with uh, uh, strict regulations it shouldn't actually lead into this and it's the, as, it, as it stands now it has nothing to do with designer baby uh, and that's not an issue it is it is made to uh, help with uh, uh, potentially lethal uh, genetic con conditions, uh, and therefore it's purely to help uh, uh, the offspring to survive and have a healthy life. Uh, uh, it's nothing to do with design, design a baby. The, the worry is it, it may lead to uh, further developments and further research into uh, what can be uh, called that design a baby, but not as it stands now. I see. And some of the risks that you were saying might occur, are there further tests that could be run to, to eliminate those, or is this something that can only be found out by the use of the treatment? It's something that could be found out later when these babies, similar to what happened with IVF and, and, and uh, the um, uh, microscopic insemination of the egg. Initially, no one knew what the long-term consequences uh, uh, would be until we now have um, 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 uh, long-term studies and we've looked into this carefully and I think the safety issues has been uh, more or less uh, 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 been reassured. Until we, we further babies are, are, are developed by this technique and, uh, and they've been followed up uh, in the long term, I think it would be extremely difficult 